Hey everyone, all right, so I'm currently heading out to go get a haircut. It might not sound like a big deal, but for me, it kind of is a big deal. I'm always scared to go to the hairdresser just because I feel like they're gonna cut my hair too short. But it is really time for me to get a haircut because my ends are getting very split, just not good quality. So anyways, we'll see how it turns out. Oh, there she comes. Awkward, I locked the doors, so. <laughs> nice. I asked her to cut as little as possible this much. <laughs> okay, uh, we're back home and I'm really happy with how it turned out. She was super nice. My hairdresser this time was super nice. So I was gonna go to my usual salon for a drop-in time. But then when I got there, there was no one in the salon. So I think there were a, like lunch or something. So I just went to the salon right next to it. She was really nice. She was like, don't worry, I'm not gonna cut too much. Also, how cute is this sweater that I picked up today from H&M? I love these like half zip ups. I feel like I have to get some more for this fall. But yeah, I'm gonna cook up some lunch because it's already, it's actually 3 p.m. and we haven't had lunch yet. All right, hey guys. So I just got ready for the day. I'm going to the Apple store today because actually a few days ago, I found an iPad <laughs> or found an iPad. I've been thinking about getting an iPad for a while and I just so remembered that my family got an iPad a lot of years back and I was like, maybe we still have that iPad. This is what I found in our like kitchen island. It was like in a drawer, just really hidden. So this iPad was obviously locked it had a password that i also didn't remember because it was like so many years back that we last used this so i had to reset it which was actually pretty easy so you turn it off and then when you're starting it again you have to connect it with a cable to a computer and it will open itunes and then you can like log in with your apple id and reset it so i did that so now it's working but let me show you this is the wallpaper i don't even remember when these wallpapers were in. It also doesn't have touch ID, so you have to manually enter the passcode every time. And it has this really old case, like, look at that. Oh my gosh. But I'm really happy I did find an iPad because I really wanted one. However, the only problem is it's so old, I'm not even sure which year model it is. It only says that it has iOS 10, which is the latest software it's like built for, so it can't upgrade to a later iOS than iOS 10. I'm actually gonna check if we have like the serial number. I think you can type it in on Apple's website. Oh my gosh, it's an iPad 4. iPad 4 was released in 2012, so exactly 10 years ago. So this is a 10 year old iPad. You might be wondering what I'm actually gonna use it for since there's a bunch of apps you can't even download because you need at least like iOS 13 for most apps, but I thought I would use it as a reading iPad, so kind of like a Kindle if you know what that is. This iPad does have the books app, so I thought I would use it for downloading a bunch of books and just like reading because i'm really trying to get more into reading i really like having all my books in one place and previously i've read all of my books on my phone but then i get like really distracted by notifications and just like social media uh, so i feel like this is gonna be a really good solution designate this ipad as a reading ipad but yeah so that summarizes a little bit about I'm going to the Apple store to find a new case because this one obviously is a little bit old. Okay, so we're here at the mall with the iPad. This is gonna be really funny walking into Apple and seeing if they have any cases for a 10 year old iPad. It like just hit me on the way here that it actually is a 10 year old iPad so they're probably not gonna have any cases at all because the sizes are probably gonna be a little bit different. Like I feel like iPads were thicker 10 years ago but also I feel like how big can really the differences in size B. Maybe we'll find a case that is, in best case scenario, just a little bit bigger. Okay. 
All right, so we started off with going to the iPad cases section and they honestly didn't have the biggest selection. As you can see, it's pretty much like only these silicone cases and then they had like maybe one or two other brands. So we tried on this Apple silicone iPad case and this is actually a really similar one to the one we bought like 10 years ago, which is pretty funny that Apple like still goes by the same design. 10 years later so we tried it on and it almost fit actually the only thing was the ipad was a little too wide for it also it didn't stick with the magnetic slip which is really sad because the silicone case was actually really cute i really liked especially this white one i think it looked really minimal but yeah, a little off topic, but I also found these iPhone cases that I actually haven't seen before. Uh, it's a MagSafe case from Otterbox. First of all, I really like the beige color, but also the like gradient design. Um, they also had it in white. So yeah, I am definitely considering getting one of these. Uh, let me know what you think about these in the comments. So then we moved on to look for some new iPads. Uh, I definitely love my book pad, but <laughs> it's pretty much the only thing I can use it for. So I'm kind of still looking for an iPad that I can use for like taking notes and like everything you do with an iPad. So it was just pretty funny to compare the iPad 4 to the current iPad 9, which was the latest one they had in the Apple store, but they also recently came out with the iPad 10 actually. Look at how big the black bars are on the iPad 4 versus the latest iPad or this is the iPad Pro actually. Uh, I also did a little speed test just to see if it was like any difference in the performance of like swiping but honestly I don't think there really was any big difference like at least not noticeable. For it, there was a big difference to the cameras as you can see it's like it's a pretty big difference, but I don't think the camera is really reason for getting an iPad. And then I also looked at the iPad mini. This one was actually really cute. I can think like if you want to have an iPad like on the go, just to like check your emails, notes, uh, go on Safari, I think this would actually be a really good solution. All right, so as it turns out, it seems to be an impossible task to find a case for the iPad 4. I've been looking on like Amazon, a bunch of different case brands. Maybe I'll be able to find it at like a private seller. I feel like the iPad 4 doesn't even exist anymore on Apple or the internet. With that said, I'm still super happy with this iPad. I think actually it's a positive thing that I can't do anything else than read my books on this iPad. So I pretty much still start all my mornings and end my nights with reading on this iPad. Like when I get this iPad out, it's time for reading and not checking like social media or checking YouTube, which I feel like it would have been tempted to do if I actually could. So I would definitely recommend if you have an old iPad, make it your designated reading iPad. This 10 year old little device has become my absolute favorite. Okay, so I downloaded a bunch of books. I just started reading 101 essays says that will change the way you think. I just started reading it like yesterday and I'm already one third into the book because it's such an easy read and so far honestly the best book I read. I'll show you some of my favorite quotes from the book so far. The emotion doesn't have to be fixed. The thing that it's signaling your attention does. Fire can burn your house down or it can cook you dinner each night and keep you warm in winter. Your mind is the same way. Make sure you're living more than you're thinking about living. Like if you haven't read that book go read it. I'm also gonna start The Mountain Is You and also don't believe everything you think. I'm definitely gonna keep Keep this as my book pad but also get an actual iPad that I can use for like taking notes, having it on the go with me and just like a compliment for my iPhone and MacBook. But I actually feel kind of confused on what iPad to get because I feel like the lineup of iPads is kind of confusing. I don't think I will be getting the iPad 10 that just came out just because you need an adapter for the Apple Pencil which I feel like is kind of- I feel like I'm just gonna forget to bring the adapter or just lose it. I just really want to be able to put the Apple Pencil directly on my iPad. So it either comes down to iPad Pro or iPad Air 
or iPad mini. Don't know, I'm definitely gonna make some more research on it. Maybe I'll actually make a video on like all the differences in detail. Anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun going to the Apple store once again. And if you have any tips on where to find iPad cases for the iPad 4, please let me know. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.